Okay, we have another <clears throat> Mushers handler interview here. We're here with Liz Graves, who's handling for Charlotte Mooney. Charlotte had a really good run yesterday and moved up a little bit in the standings. But we want to talk about what the responsibilities of a handler are. Um, Liz, how long have you been working with Charlotte? Uh, I came to work for Charlotte last January, so this is my second season with Charlotte. Uh, she, uh, This is only my second season for dog study, and I came back to learn a lot about racing with Charlotte. So uh, this year I helped train at her stage stop team. This is her first time at stage stop, and a lot of the dogs that she's bred, she's got a lot of young ones on her team, probably mm, 10 out of 16 okay. are pups, like a year and a half, and so I uh, came back to help with that. So you're not only handling for this race, you're kind of a, a kennel handler also, yep. and train dogs with Charlotte. Yes, which yeah. is more of a rarity. Uh, some kennels, you know, you just scoop poop and feed dogs pretty much. Uh, Charlotte is pretty fair in the fact that part of the reason I came out is I also wanted to have experience. Um, in the race arena, and so Charlotte let me drive her B team. Oh, well that's great. What so, races have you done that at? Um, well, it's more for training for the longer okay. runs. Uh, she'd have the A dogs, and then the B ones were the ones that she wasn't sure she was going to bring. I've only done three races, and those were some of her A team dogs too. Uh, okay. The West Yellowstone and Ashton gotcha. in Idaho. Yeah. So, so when, when Charlotte comes back today in a couple of hours, <clears throat> what are your what are your responsibilities as a handler? Would give me a little rundown of what you're going to be doing to, with the dogs. Okay, um, from the moment Charlotte comes back in, uh, Charlotte pretty much takes a break for a moment after petting her dogs and then letting them know, letting them know that they do a good job. And John and I, John Barron is the other one helping out Charlotte. He was her mentor. Um, take all the dogs off, bring them over to the trailer, take boots and harnesses off right away. And then today we're going to give them a little kibble with water just to give them drinks since it's warming up again. Um, and then we have to rub each one down. We'll probably do some algebel on them, which is an ointment to get into their muscles, loosen them up. Um, check feet, which takes a long time, looking for s splits or fissures, things like that. Mm. And then we also walk each dog to see how their gait is, if anyone's lipping or things like that. This trail is supposed to be more of a swim today with uh, deeper spots of snow. Um, so we want to make sure if anyone fell in that they're not hurting. Land dogs. Yet, especially shoulders and wrists. And then after that, we're going to put everyone up, but got to change some of the hay in the boxes as well. And then we put everyone away for a while, uh, give them some fat to get some of that protein back in and all the calories they're consuming. And before that, we take care of the, six, the other six dogs that are on the truck. And that's kind of what we're doing right now. Right. So that's just a brief synopsis. Right, hey, hey. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> this is my my question to all the handlers: which which position is more fun, handling or driving? Ah, is this that trick question? <laughs> this is the trick question. You know, I it's don't. It's not think, a trick question. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can separate t the two. I think uh, the musher is also a handler as well. Um, I'd have to say personally. Uh, so, I have nine dogs back home, and so working for someone else, you grow very attached to them as well, but you don't have the financial responsibility. Yeah. So it's really fun to handle and work on someone else's team. Sure. Um, so I'd say back and forth, kind of doing both. Okay. Uh -huh. Great. Liz, thanks for your time. I appreciate it, and have fun the rest of the race. All right. Don't work too hard. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, Greg.